Alright, hey, Haze Omega here, and welcome to another Haze Omega Suron video. Alright, so in this video, uh, we're gonna go replace the uh, the breaker on my Lightspeed Bikes battery here, okay? I don't think Lightspeed Bikes is around anymore, but this is my first aftermarket battery that I bought for the, um, the Suron. Alright, my Suron Light B, my 2018 Suron Light B MX. And um, when I, I took the bike to Moab, uh, I went on a Moab trip this year, or last year, in 2023, alright? And, um, and I noted, like, uh, the bike cuts out a whole lot now, all right? Uh, this, act, this battery is actually in better shape than my other battery, all right? My other Lightspeed Bikes battery, but when it, um, if I jump the bike or I'm real rough with it and real, you know, I, I, it's real, I bounce it around or jolt it a whole lot, it cuts out, okay? Let's go, let's go, let's go, come on! Oh, the bike died again, damn it! And I think it's because of this battery, all right? I, I, oh, I know it's because of this battery, all right? So, um, Hades Mega is, in this video, Hades Mega is trying to fix that problem, all right? The only thing I could think of that maybe gone bad with the battery, all right? I've never had a battery like that where, like, if you, you know, jolt it a lot it dies on you okay the other battery doesn't do it that's how i know this is the bad battery all right because uh the other battery the one that's in this bike it doesn't do that all right but also this battery doesn't have a breaker all right so this is one of the very early model um light speed bikes batteries all right this is the one with the sony vtc cells and it doesn't even have like the battery gauge on it or anything and um so it's just kind of annoying but but there is a breaker on it, which is I do kind of like. So when you connect the battery, it doesn't spark, you know. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm trying to, well, I'm trying to fix the battery. All right. So I, the problem I think with the battery is the breaker. All right, the breaker that's on top of it. It's a 200 amp breaker, and um, I think it there must be something wrong with it. All right. Do we need the breaker? We there, we could do two things. All right. We could either eliminate the breaker. All right. Just take it off altogether. Or we can replace it. Well, as you can see, I've got another one right here. So <laughs> we're going to go replace it, all right? We're going to see if that's the culprit. All right, Hazen Mega's trying to get this fixed by this weekend so we can take it to the track and test it out, all right? But, yeah. Um, but, but I have to, like, jump, actually jump the bike and everything. So <laughs> um, that's what I'm going to say. So, so that's the scoop. That's what I got going on in this video. We're gonna replace the breaker, all right? Um, I got this on Amazon. Um, I'll put a link in the description where I got it, but I, I'm, I haven't, I've never seen a battery like this. Um, they don't make batteries like this anymore, guys. They don't have their own breakers, all right? The, the bike has a breaker, and this is a breaker. It's kind of redundant, and you got the BMS, all right? I, I would think, you know, that's all you'd need. Um, so if you guys don't know what a breaker is for, a breaker is there so your wire doesn't get over current, all right? If if too much current is sent through the is sent through the wire, all right? Um, it could cause a fire, all right? The the wire could get too hot and then and then it'll cause a fire. You don't want that, all right? Um, and that that's basically that's the main reason that's the main reason to have a breaker, all right? Also, it kind of kind of work as like an on-off switch, all right? Some breakers, all right? It's basically a fuse is what it is, all right? A fuse is, is like a breaker, but a fuse you can't reset, all right? This uh, breakers you can reset, okay? So, and I've had this for a, a while now, a long, a long while, <laughs> a couple years, all right? More, like, probably like, like two, three years now, all right? And the battery's still kicking pretty good, that's what I want to say. Um, uh, Hedy's Mega is planning to get a third battery, but uh, I would still like to use this battery, all right? I, I need all the batteries for for long electric bike races, as I want to say. Okay, so anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and change this. I'll show you what, what we're working with, and then that'll be the end of the video, and then um, I will, um, and then when I've done test riding it, all right, I will go and uh, I will report back to see if that was the problem. Hopefully, hopefully this is the problem, right? Because um, if this isn't the problem, it's something in the battery, internally in the battery. Maybe the BMS is bad. 
that's probably the next step all right to check check the BMS out or something some kind of connection and the battery is loose all right in, inside the battery all right but the easiest one to do change the breaker all right change it or eliminate it all right we don't really need the breaker so we we could eliminate it also or it would make it a little bit neater and stuff but um, it it was designed to have the breaker so I'd rather just it be there okay <laughs> it's, it's kind of annoying to have on there but um, plus I'd have to do something funky with the wires and stuff to get it, to get it working type of thing okay so yeah that's the scoop all right haha -ha. all right there you go feast your eyes on that 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 is my uh, this is my 30 amp hour light speed bikes battery that runs on 18650 Sony BTC cells. All right, very good cells. All right, and they haven't gone bad yet. And the interesting thing to note is my other bike, my other electric bike, has Sony BTC cells as well. All right, and uh, it is, uh, oh, no, maybe not. I think it's they have Panasonic cells, but I, I think the R pack uses Sony BTC cells. It's a very, very good um, battery, okay? So here's the, here's the breaker, and then here's the one we're gonna replace it with. All right, and hopefully this will solve the problem. Um, I, I know this is a good breaker because this is the one I use for my solar panel system, all right? So this is a 200 amp breaker. So if 200 amps was to go through the wire for a certain amount of time, it'll blow, all right? And I think it, I think there's, see, there's the, there's the chart right there. All right, guys. Okay, so there's the chart right there, all right? So um, also it's a temperature thing, all right? So if it gets to a certain temperature, it'll blow faster, all right? Because heat, right? That's what causes the wire to melt is the heat, right? Um, so time percent versus rated current. So at, okay, so on the graph here, it says at 100% of rated current. So at 200 amps, how long will it take to blow? Uh, it says 200 seconds or 500 seconds, all right? So at 200 amps, Hopefully the wire can withstand that <laughs> before it melts. All right, I don't know. I could look. This is a this is a six gauge wire we got right here. All right, and I'm pretty sure this connect. I don't know what what the these connectors are rated at. All right, but um, then if we go up to 200, all right, if we get 400 amps of rated current, the breaker would blow around like 30 seconds ish. Yeah, somewhere around 30, 40 seconds. So, so there's like a time component to it, all right? So to how, and, and we, I don't think, well, you know what? Yeah, you know what? My, my bike can pull 200 amps of current. At least my controller can, and I have it set to 200, uh, but I've never had it just die on me. So, uh, but yes, it, that gives you to show it could withstand, it could withstand 200 amps of current, this, this breaker, before it pops, all right, for about like, 200 seconds is what it's saying 100 200 seconds somewhere around there all right but there's also a heat component to it too so if it if it's if it's hot and then you hit the rated current it could it'll blow okay so i've never had a breaker blow on me all right i've never seen this breaker blow or this one right here okay so this is the one that i bought it's by t tokas it looks exactly like the breaker that's on there all right i don't know what brand this one is but it literally it's almost the same one all right, and it has the on off switch here. So the way it works is you press the button and it breaks the connection, all right? And then uh, when, uh, and then if you want it to connect it again, you press up on this. Also, if it blows, it will, um, if, the, if, the, if the breaker blows, that's what happens, all right? This will pop open like that. Okay, pretty simple. All I'm gonna do is unbolt the, uh, the bolts here and, um, and unbolt this, all right? There's also a way we can test this if we run 200 amps through it, okay guys? If you have like a, like a load tester or something, yeah, you could probably hook it up to this and see if it'll blow. That would be one way, a good way to test it. Uh, I've never seen this thing blow, ever. I've never seen it. Maybe we can connect the battery backwards and we'll, <laughs> it might blow, all right? But I'm not gonna do that. Okay, so that's the scoop. Uh, we're All we're gonna do is replace this battery, uh, this breaker, all right, and I put these, put these covers on it to protect the terminals because I didn't like exposed terminals. Um, the, the black is okay to be exposed, which it's not, it's only connected to the positive. All right, guys. So, and I have these, uh, these vinyl hoses just around the thing. So, okay. So we're going to take that off, take this hose off. 
and that keeps uh also you can see I grinded that down so oh, I might have to grind this down too so it fits or or not we'll see <laughs> okay it already does have covers on it the other one has covers too but yeah that's the cover right there this is very similar to the one we use in the solar the solar panel system okay but I think I'm just uh, I think the new one I'm just gonna cut these off and we're gonna put these I like these better all right they're kind of more secure I've never had it come off so okay all right, and then I'm just going to take it off and then put the new one on, and then uh, and then Hades, Hades Mega will go test it out the, and during the weekend, and hopefully it doesn't um, the 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 bike doesn't die on me. All right, um, I ha I'd have to hit some really hard jumps and stuff to see if that would happen though. So, but we got to test it out somehow. Uh, on the track, I don't think it's going to do it, but when I did the Supermoto race, it did do it. So, um, I have to really jostle the bike a whole lot. All right. And then if it if it still does happen, we know that the breaker is fine, and uh, it's something else with the battery, right? And then we'll, we might have to have somebody open it up and check it out. I might have to send it back to Lightspeed Bikes or whatever the company is now. So, all right. So I'm gonna go swap it out. I'll get some pictures. Okay, boys and girls, breaker's been replaced. Um, we'll go test it real quick. What we're gonna do is get a little multimeter here. There's a multimeter. Hopefully, it doesn't fall down. All right, there shouldn't be any voltage in this at all. Okay, no voltage. Turn this up a bit. No, that's fine. No voltage, right? And then when I close this, there should be voltage. Okay, it should be oh, too much. There you go. 72.4 volts. All right, that means it's about 50% charge. Okay, and I disconnect it. No voltage. Okay, voltage. Okay, there we go. Good to go. So we'll uh, we'll go ahead and charge this puppy up, and then uh, we'll take it to the track. And we'll test it out. Uh, I will see if I can go out and jump it and stuff. <laughs> but, but no promises. That's where that's re they really where this pro bike was having um, this battery was having problems was when I hit a big jump or something, it would die. So okay, so uh, yeah, we're good to go. We'll just have to go and uh, so what I did is. Uh, I just I took the other one out. I uh, I cleaned up the the terminals. All right. Yeah, the the terminals, <laughs> the 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 battery term the wire terminals. All right. It looks like they're still crimped good. Maybe. Well, that's a good question. But it 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 does voltage so. Um, and then uh, what's the deal? Um, I had to shorten this one so I can put this on there. So I shortened that stud a little bit. Um, my Dremel broke, so <laughs> my Dremel battery is, is gone bad. I'm having problems with batteries, guys. <laughs> um, and, uh, I shortened this, tr this stud here so I can put this cover over there. All right. And then there's, um, and then I put this one on there. Okay. So we shouldn't have any problems with stuff shorting out too bad. All right. I've never had anything short out on that battery. So, okay. And that should be it. So we'll give it a good charge and then, uh, we'll take it to the track and then we'll test it out and I'll let you guys know, uh, how, how it performed. Okay. Um, he supposedly should be fixed. All right. So that, that's Hayes Omega's little repair blog. Um, in the next clip, you guys will know if it was successful or not after I take it to the track. Oh, I also snipped off these, uh, these rubber thingies. I never use them guys. So I took it off so it'll be a little cleaner. There's le there'll be less stuff hanging around the battery. Okay. But it's nice to have a little switch for the battery. I like that. All right. Thanks for watching. See you in a bit.